Hey there, welcome back to Middleburg. We're in Farming Simulator 22. What do I have on the trailer and where am I headed? So this is episode 25 of this series, this playthrough. Been contemplating buying this other farm over here. See, I'm right at, uh, well, just, just under 1.7 million dollars. I have decided to go ahead and buy the big farm over here. I've gone ahead and bought this little Super Tiger tractor with a grape harvester. And I'll tell you why I went ahead and decided to buy. Because we do have all of the grapes. You see back there all of the grapevines and they're all needing to be trimmed because they will start growing next month. I thought if I waited to buy this farm, uh, it could mess up the grape harvest or potentially not even have a grape harvest this year. So uh, I figured I would end up buying it at some point this year. So I decided to go ahead and just jump in and uh, go ahead and buy it. And that way we'll have the farm. We can start getting things uh, moved over here and uh, get things rolling. So probably going to end up having to take a loan out at some point, but maybe not. Maybe we can manage without getting a loan. But, but anyhow, we are going to go ahead and purchase this farm here. It's a beautiful place. Nitro Dad has done an amazing job uh, creating this farm over here and so we're going to get it purchased so I'm going to go ahead and pull down here into the grape field over here off the road get that unfolded and shut off the truck so I have not bought this place yet uh, with one point or well one million six hundred and ninety seven thousand dollars in the bank and we are way down here if you look at the map our farm is way up here we are now way down here so if you notice there are quite a few fields down here uh, but what we are doing is we're actually just buying the main farm here so uh, let's go ahead and Purchase it. So one thousand four hundred ninety-two of oh, one million four hundred and ninety-two thousand. One hundred percent loan. So we should get a good crop. Uh, we do have some other uh, fields out here that we may end up purchasing at some point. Uh, these two right here look very promising. So, but let's go ahead and purchase the main farm here. So. We are going to buy it. Yes, we are. I'm down to $205,000. But I actually now have two farms. So once we start selling this off, we have some money coming back in to the bank. So what do we have down here? At this farm, we have a sheep barn, a horse barn, a cow barn. We do have a hayloft. That is one thing about this farm that is neat. There are some uh, additional uh, facilities. We have a fuel tank. We do have some grain bins here. And then we have herbicide, fertilizer, seeds, lime, all of those tanks down here. And then we do have a production facility. This is a wine production facility, chicken pen and a pig pen so as i mentioned before i will have to purchase some new animals uh, because we are going to have to run all of the animals that i have pens for so if we look down here now we do have the wine production at the farm we can make raisins or wine so very neat very interesting. Uh, like I said, this is the very first time that I have done anything with grapes. So you guys are going to get to learn 
along with me. Uh, let's take a look at the map real quick. These are your, my great fields. Now, I only own these two here. I don't own that one or that one. So I only have these two. And let's see here. So yeah, so they are withered. Uh, if we take that off, uh, yep, let's see. Uh, yeah, so I don't know with precision farming how this works. I don't know if I need to take a uh, soil sample out here. Let me walk out here into the uh, great field. It doesn't give me any kind of information on my display so i don't know i don't know about that but i do know that they're withered and i do need to get those taken care of so it's a little super tiger here it was actually on a uh used vehicle sell one time and didn't buy it but look how big my character looks i mean that my legs are up into the steering wheels <laughs> that's funny all right let's get backed off the trailer here this is a, is a really cool little tractor i like this thing Alright, so we're unfolding this thing here and turn it on. And there we go. I'm trimming the grapevines. So that is pretty neat. I'm wondering if now that they are trimmed. Oh, I am stuck. I'm stuck. Well, I'll check it out when we get to the end wondering if now that they're trimmed if they'll give me any kind of reading on the soil I may end up having to take soil samples out here I don't know so things are <laughs> things are going to get extremely busy going forward now it is February uh, so nothing to plant right now but I still do have a little bit of field prep I need to get uh, some soil samples taken on the fields over at the old farm where I extended the fields uh, did the in the recent plowing and I'll need to put some lime out on those areas and then so we're gonna have some fields over here let's take a look and see what we do have uh, field 127 128 and I don't know, is either of those planted? No, they've been cultivated. Do they need to be plowed? Let's see. No. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Nope, thank goodness. So neither of them need to be plowed, uh, but they are ready to go as far as planting. I imagine I'm going to need some lime on them. Well, let's go ahead and check this here. Yeah, I'm still not getting anything uh, on the field display <laughs> so my understanding is that course play will actually do this work now in the the orchards well in the was this an orchard a grape orchard I don't know it will now run equipment through the grapes so but that's going to be useful because I have a whole lot to get done. Uh, we're going to probably have to just set this guy on a course and let him roll so that I can get into some other things. But this is actually really neat. Uh, this little tractor is cool. I like this tractor. Uh, the next thing I think we have to come along and do is uh, mulch the ground and cultivate the ground. I'm not real sure to be honest with you I don't know at what stages I need to do what so this is going to be a learning experience I am sure 
that I'll make some mistakes. But that's okay. We're just here to have some fun. And hopefully be able to uh, get a little bit of grape crop off of this this year. It's amazing the machines that they have now uh, to do some of this agricultural work. I mean, this here that knows where the posts are, it knows where the vines are, and it goes along and does everything, for the most part, automated. And without damaging the uh, plants. That is really, really cool. It's amazing how far technology has come, not just in the agriculture industry, but across all industries very 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 neat stuff out there nowadays all right so well, that's neat we got other things to do so let me get a helper set up here and see if we can get some more work done all right let me see what happens here Now that's interesting. Oh gosh, please tell me this is going to work. It's not in the field. Oh no. Let me pull up a little bit. Let me pull up. Please pick up this as a field. Oh it's not doing it. Oh no. Have I made a grave mistake? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Target is not on a field. Oh, my gosh. This is not good, folks. This is not good. I have made a grave mistake. Oh boy. It appears that I'm going to have to do this myself. Oh boy. I may have bit off more than I could chew here. I'm wondering if I go through and do the cultivating between the rows, if it'll pick it up as a field. Because the weird thing is I am not getting any type of information on the uh, display about the fuel conditions and I'm pretty sure that I have that on. Let me double check here real quick. I think I could do it without the uh, tractor wrecking. Uh, where is it? Field info is on. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. Eat it. I'm running at 2x speed. This is more than likely going to take me forever so I am going to bump that down to 1x until I can get this figured out uh, so I guess what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, continue doing this actually you know what I'll do I know what I'll do I want to get down to the end of this row then uh, we'll just bump over to the other farm. I'm going to get a worker set up to take some soil samples for us. What I can do is just let the uh, course play go ahead and handle the entire field. Uh, it'll be a little bit overkill because we don't need to do it, but it'll be the easiest. Let them take the samples over the entire field and uh, we'll do this manually over here. So that way I can at least be getting uh, some other work done while I am over here doing this. <laughs> what have I done? Oh boy. Alright. 
We'll shut the tractor off. Now let's get back over to the farm here. Let's see. We have the little Ford here hooked up already to the soil sample machine. So we will head on out here to the field. I do have a mess. I have everything out here from yesterday's activity. I have not put anything away. But mainly because I don't, I don't have anywhere to put anything. Uh, there's just no storage space over here. But I have plenty of storage space over at the new farm. That is one of the things I am excited about is there's actually a lot of storage over there at that new uh, new farm. All right, let's get a set a core set up here. Oh, we are way across over here. All right, field work. I uh, think that is, yep, field work. Oh, shoot. Um, we'll just do one headland. I don't know about any of this with the soil sample machine. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay. And we will just start it at the first waypoint and see what happens. Let's turn on our hood and see what he gets there. I have actually never used horse play to do this, but I understand it can be done. Oh shoot. Looks like he's doing a good doing a good job. Very cool. Alright, we're gonna let him go. Do his thing. And hop on back over here. And get going back on some of these mines. I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Well, here we are. Back at the farm. Got the old New Holland up here on the trailer. Took the truck back down to the farm, picked it up. Swung by the shop and picked up this cultivator here. Got to thinking... Maybe this uh, field needs to be cultivated or subsold or something to let things uh, know that it's a field. So that's what we're going to do. Now, you know, I think I'm going to take this front end loader off. I think this is going to just be. <laughs> it's going to be in the way trying to maneuver around all of the uh, grapevines so let's see how do I get down here I uh, don't think there's an entrance from that field so let's take a little drive down here so I got it a good ways through the field on uh, the uh, trimming so that's good. I did get the uh, helper to get all of the soil samples taken from the other fields over at the old farm. So that's done. So we're just over here trying to figure out what's going on here and uh, get things somehow able to work out a little bit more efficiently. So, well, let's see here. I guess I'll need to go down this side here. Now, this uh, subsoiler here said it takes 65 horsepower. This tractor's got almost 100, so I don't think that it should have any trouble. Uh, getting some wheel slip there, but it is pulling it. I can't remember if it was a six or seven miles an hour. Let's take a look here. Uh, it is a subsoiler. There we go. So it's supposed to run at seven miles an hour. It's two meters wide. But it is. Oh, let me check and see what I get here. So, oh, uh, no, that's field. Wait, now it's showing as a, as a field. Nope, not down here. 
Look, here it is. There we go. So now I'm just picking it up as a great field. So that's, I think that's what we need. That's what we need. So I wonder. No, I, I don't think there's not enough field on the outside of the, the rows to kind of encircle this field and make it pick it up because I think it's just going to pick out this middle area as non-field area so I'm going to have to <laughs> oh, I should have started with this but I can manually cultivate all of these rows in both of these fields oh boy and then I think at that point we should be able to let course play and I do its thing there. So I'm just going to skip a row there. It seems to oh, went down a little bit slow. There we go. I'm going to skip a row just because turning there, I couldn't make the turn. I was having some trouble pulling this thing for it to only take 65 horsepower. This tractor. I think it's just too light. Is not getting enough traction there. And we are going uphill, so that that ain't helping either. Oh man, this is gonna take forever. Forever. The good thing is that there's nothing pressing really. I fed the chickens this morning. I took off all of the production pallets, so that's been taken care of. So the only thing that I really need to do today is this. And I think, to be honest with you, I don't know if this has to be completed today. Uh, per the calendar, Let's see if we can take a look at it real quick before we get to the end of the row. The grapes start growing next month. So I would think that they should be trimmed before they start growing. But I'm not real sure. But either way, we'll get this done. And uh, whew, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of work off camera. I'm gonna have to uh, to get this taken care of. So I think that's what we will do. I'm going to work on getting this cultivating done off camera because it is going to take take some time. And then what we'll do is next time we'll uh, and actually you know what I'll probably do is go ahead and get the rest of the vines trimmed up as well. Once I get these fields laid out with this cultivator, I think. That course play should pick it up. Matter of fact, let's just take a little test here and just make sure if I back up into the area, let's see what happens here. Aha, uh -huh. look at that. It's now starting to pick up the, the rows. Fantastic. So course, course play does work. We just got to get to that point. So that's what I'll do. I will work the rest of this field off screen. And go ahead and probably get the rest of the trimming done. And then we'll bring it back, see where we are next episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give the video a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And once again, I do appreciate you watching. And I hope each of you have a blessed day.